All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to convert your PyTorch model to an engine model so that you can run TensorRT. And if you're skeptical on how fast Tensor is, I had this dude in my Discord server getting 10 FPS and then he switched to Tensor and he was getting 40, which is four times increase. Now, if you're getting like 60, you might get 100 FPS or 90, but still, you know, why not, right? And especially since I've made it so easy for you guys to do with my TensorRT installer that's on GitHub that you should star, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, if you don't have TensorRT, you're going to need it. Uh, so I'll put a video in the description on how to install it. And then once you get it, you can run uh, this code. If your model is like yolo.pt, then you would put yolo.pt here, but mine's best.pt, so that's why that's that. And then you want to put this the same name, just dot engine instead of pt. And all this does is test the model. So this loads your current one, then it converts it to engine. And these are some optional settings which have explanations on here, like all that. And then it tests it. Once you copy this code, <clears throat> make a new folder, name it whatever you want, open it up, make a new text document, I'm just going to name it convert, open that, paste the code, and save. Then rename this to .py. Then you want to find your best.pt or PyTorch model and put it in this folder. Then you want to get an image if you're going to test. If you're not going to test, you can just delete this code and run it. It'll still work even if you keep this code and don't have an image in here, but I'm just going to put an image in here. So mine is right here. And I it should be named test underscore detection dot JPEG. Then you can click in this empty space and type CMD, press enter, and then run pip install ultralytics press enter when that's done you can type python convert.py so this will be whatever you named your your python file press enter okay so if you're using an image to test it should look something like this when it's done testing. Um, this up here means that the export was successful. So you can close that and then you'll have this best engine file that you can use with your AI. If you're using Lunar, you'll just cut this, go into Lunar, Libraries, TensorRT, and then paste it in here. And then you can just replace. So yeah, 